if you are using ai generated text in any of your research documents then definitely that text would be detected under different ai checkers but recently chat gpt has launched thinking ability feature under chat gpt 5 then i started receiving comments and emails asking about if the text is generated by using this thinking feature of chat gpt 5 then still it can be detected under turnitin or any other ai checkers because with this advanced thinking capabilities chat gpt can now write human like text so hello everyone i'm dr nilesh kumar and I welcome you all to your favorite channel my research support so today in this video we will generate two files by using this thinking feature of chat gpt 5 and then we will check all these files in turn it in and we will evaluate plagiarism as well as ai score report so that you can really understand if you are generating any text by using this feature of chat gpt 5 then whether it is getting detected under any ai checkers or not so here is the demonstration so you can see here that the chat gpt 5 comes with auto decides how long to think fast and thinking ability feature so i have now enabled this feature and by using that i have used this prompt to generate text write an introduction section for my phd thesis based on magnesium alloy in 2000 words and then chat gpt thought for 42 seconds and then i have copied this introduction as it is into my word file and i have named this file as example one so similarly i have used one more prompt which is exactly similar to this prompt there is only a little difference so here would be the second prompt so you can see this write an introduction section for my phd thesis based on magnesium alloy in 2000 words so i have only added human style writing to avoid ai score detection because i wanted to check if i am simply using any prompt then what would be the ai score and if i am intentionally using this words then whether there is any difference into ai scores so i have also copied this text into my another word file and that i have named as example 2 then i have checked both these files in turn it in so here you can see ai score reports as well as i have checked for similarity so let us first discuss about the similarity so whenever you will be generating something by using this feature of chat gpt 5 see it comes with two percent similarity okay so similarity would not be an issue for example one similarly for second example also you will see two percent overall similarity now let us check ai score reports so this is example one means the document generated by a simple prompt and here you can see this the ai score for this file is zero percent means this entire text which is simply generated by using this thinking feature of chat gpt 5 and checked as it is into turn it in is showing zero percent ai score means it is completely showing human like text so let me check for second example so here also you can see this the ai score is zero percent for the second file so similar to these two files i have checked multiple files and i have got zero percent ai score so ultimately at this moment turnitin's ai detection tool is not capable to detect ai score from the documents those are generated by this feature of chat gpt 5 but in future there are possibilities that turnitin will upgrade their tool and then this feature may be detected under their module and why i have used turnitin so that is just because many universities and journals only use turnitin to check ai scores so if you are checking the ai scores by using any other ai checkers then you may find some variation into the ai scores but if those universities and journals are only using turnitin then why to use any other softwares and the most important thing even though this ai generated text cannot be detected under turnitin or any other ai checkers but still you can't use that text as it is into your research documents because it is ethically incorrect and this text won't be having some strong base but by several other ways you can use this thinking feature of chat gpt5 maybe to rewrite your own text to improve technicality to correct grammatical errors from your research documents and by many other ways so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you if you have any queries you can write us through comments i'll definitely try to answer all these comments and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see you in my next video bye bye